Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. In this part, we'll take a look at a few file management tips and tricks with Files, which is the name of the file manager on elementary OS. The Favorites list. This is pretty standard, but it still has a few subtleties. First, you can drag and drop folders on the personal part of this list to add your own, or right-click on any folder and click Bookmark. You can also remove a bookmark just by dragging it outside of the Favorites bar and letting go, just like an icon on the dock. It's also the only place where you'll find the trash, which you can empty by right-clicking on its bookmark or click on to view its contents. The bar will also show storage devices you plug in and allows you to eject them by clicking on the small eject icon. It also shows you how much space is left in each device with the aid of a small blue bar. If you have network peripherals or other computers, they'll appear there too. Using tabs. The file manager supports tabs, just like a web browser. You can create new ones with the plus button or simply by double clicking on an empty space on the tab bar. The Ctrl plus T keyboard shortcut works here as well. New tabs will open your home folder by default. If you want to open a specific folder in a new tab, just middle mouse click on it. Close tabs by clicking on its little close button or by middle mouse clicking on it or press Ctrl plus W to close the active tab. You can also reorder tabs with just a simple drag and drop. Now you can even drag and drop files between tabs. Just slide the file over a tab, wait just a second, and there you are. Single click. Something that might take newcomers off guard is that the file manager uses single click to open files and folders instead of a double click on Windows. Just remember, to select a file or folder, hover over it and click the little tick that appears in its upper left corner. You can also maintain control and click on the files and folders you want to select. Right click works as always and opens a contextual menu. Compression. Like most modern file managers, Files supports compression. Select the files and folders you want to add to an archive, then right-click on one of them and select Compress. You have a few options by default such as the name of the archive, its format and the location. Some formats might not be familiar to you at first. They are pretty Linux specific such as .tar.bz2 or .tar.gz. No worries, select Zip and everyone will be able to open your compressed folders. Don't want anyone to have access to them? You can password protect the archive and even split it into multiple parts. Using color labels. Files allows you to add color labels to the names of the files. Just right click on what the file you want to add a color label to and select one of the colors in the menu. If you want to get rid of it, right click your file and click on the little close icon next to the colors. This can be very useful to separate files into different categories, such as files you've worked on with a green label, those with errors or work to be done with a red label, etc. Other simple tips and tricks. Files still has features up its sleeves. First, there is a history button, tucked on the right of the tabs bar. This button has the tab history of your tab bar. Every tab you've opened in the current window will show up here. To reopen the first item in your tab history, you can also middle mouse click on an empty space on the tab bar. Files also has a search feature which is well hidden. Click on the path bar and delete everything that's written in it. You can then search your file name and a handy list will show up. You also have multiple views such as icon view, list view and columns view, very useful to go back a few levels in your folder structure. Finally, files will sometimes show emblems on files and folders such as a lock which means you can't edit, move or delete this file but you can open it and copy it and a stop sign which means that this does not belong to you and you can't interact with it. Finally, you can use Ctrl plus N to open a new file manager window and Ctrl plus Q to completely close all files windows. So here we go, those were a few simple tips and tricks to use the default file manager in elementary OS. If it's not to your liking, know that you can change it. You can search the App Center for file management and a few alternatives will pop up such as Dolphin, which is KDE's default file browser, PCMan FM, a well-known and powerful tool, or another app called Files, which is the default GNOME file browser, also called Nautilus. Once you've tried out and picked one, just go to the system settings, click on applications and set that file browser as default in the list named file browser. That's it for this part, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! If you want to support the channel further, please consider sparing three small clicks. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for the support!